What's the deal, bathers? I'm Tone here with my broadcast partner, Jabari. Gracie is here with sports, and Jayla has your weather. Mondays on Bather Babble, we will bring you the weekend news wrap up. Take drop or topical Tuesdays, we will discuss important social issues and current events. What up, Wednesday so, features cool games, gadgets, and entertainment. Passenger Thursday, we hope you're earning swag points. And Freaky Fridays bring you strange but true stories from around the world. So on that note, let's get things started. Today, we're going to switch it up. Nine days have passed since the horrific helicopter crash, helicopter crash that changed the lives of many families and basketball fans everywhere with the, death, with the tragic death of Kobe Bryant and Gianna Bryant and seven other victims. Let's catch up on weather first and discuss this in a few. How's the weather, Jayla? What's up, Bathers? I'm Antonio with your Bathers Sports Update. The Lady Bathers took a big win against Michigan Collegiate, winning the game 45-30. to Nevaeh Williams led the way with 18 points, and Notori Reedus followed her up with 12 points. The game was solid all around with equal scoring opportunities and good defense from all the girls. They paid public safety on Tuesday the 21st. Keep it up, ladies, and bring home another dub. The boys' JV and varsity also plays again tonight against Michigan Collegiate. 5.30 for JV and 7 for varsity. NFL playoffs continue this week. The Titans play the Chiefs and the Packers play the 49ers on Sunday. I'm not making a choice for who I'm thinking is going to win because last time I did it, they lost. But y'all can tell me who y'all think will win in the comments. So leave your opinion below. Last night was amazing offensively for the NBA. We had three players score 40 or more. Kimba Walker had 40 points but fell short after making a comeback against the Bucks. Donovan Mitchell and Brendan Ingram have 46 and 49 respectively in the same game. They had an overtime thriller in the Pelicans building and after Brendan Ingram hit what was thought to be the game winning shot, Rudy Gobert sent it into overtime with a clutch free throw. And then DeAndre Ayton came out and had his first 2020 game of his career. Balance has been restored to the NBA. Hurry up, That's hurry all for your Sports Update. Back to you, Gracie. What's up, Bathers? I'm Antonio with your Bather Sports Update. The Lady Bathers played Summit Academy on Friday at home. This game came down to the wire, very competitive. We didn't win, but the Lady showed everybody that they can compete like they have been doing all year. We had three players put up double digits like I predicted, so give me my props, bro. Nevaeh Williams had 19 points, Tori Reedus had 16, and Alicia Port had 15. The final score was 52 to 51, with our Bathers losing by one point. And maybe they would have won if they had gotten the obvious missed call on the game winning shot on Friday. But they played Chandler Park tomorrow at 5. The basketball teams must have been cursed Friday because all three teams lost close games with the JV losing by only three points. The boys varsity lost by one point after overcoming a 16 point deficit. They even had to lead with under two minutes, but if it wasn't for bad calls and missed free throws, they might have had to dub. They played tomorrow as well at home against Chandler Park. First game is at 5.30, beat her. I can't say I was mad this weekend, but I was truly disappointed from watching the playoffs. The Ravens lost 28 to 12, and man, I was hurt. Lamar Jackson still did his thing though. He had 365 yards and threw with one touchdown, but he threw two interceptions, and I still haven't recovered from those. Michigan State lost, man. They took the biggest L. The score was 42 to 71. Cassius Winston only had 10 points. Man, I don't even want to talk about it, but the Michigan Wolverines lost too, so I guess it's a dub for me. They lost 67 to 75. In the NBA, I told y'all to look out for the Pistons game Saturday versus the Bulls, and all I wanted was for them to win. As you can see, I couldn't catch a break this weekend. They lost 108 to 99. The girls dropped 20 points, and Drummond I got ejected. He didn't even get to reach a double-double as usual. But they play again tonight at 7. And they better win, man, or I'm going to quit. But that's all for your Bathing Sports update. Back to you, Buffy. I'm back with your Bathing Apple forecast across the country. In the West Coast, it'll be raining. And in the Gulf Coast, it'll be sunny. But in the Rocky Mountains, Midwest, and the East Coast, there's going to be snow. Today's outlook. Today we have a high of 40, and right now it's 30 and it's snowing, but throughout the rest of the day it should be cloudy skies. Three day forecast. Tuesday and Wednesday we'll have mostly cloudy days with the highs being 38 and 40 respectively. And Thursday we'll have a partly sunny, I mean a partly cloudy day with a high of 38. Today's weather word, glaze, a coating of ice usually clear and smooth, formed on exposed objects by the freezing, rain, and fog. Now that's all for your Bather Babble forecast. Back to you, Malia. What's the deal, Bathers? It's your boy Tone here with my broadcast partner, Asia. Cheyenne is here with sports, and Serenity has your weather. Mondays on Bather Babble, we will bring you the weekend news wrap-up. Hot Topic Tuesdays, we will discuss important social issues and current events. What Up Wednesdays features cool games, gadgets, and entertainment. Fashion Drip Thursday will help you earn swag points. And Freaky Fridays bring you strange but true stories from around the world. So on that note, let's get things started. As unknown as this topic may be, 
February is known as Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. Lots of young couples suffer from physical and psychological abuse, which shouldn't be hidden. But first, let's get an update on these icy roads and snowy skies. How's the weather, Serenity? Thanks, Serenity. Abuse and teenage dating is very, very obvious. Nowadays, teens don't know how to handle it, and most of them see it as another sign of love. Most teens don't know how to leave and are scared of the physical abuse that will follow after. Each year, there is the National Intimate Partner or Sexual Violence Survey. One in 11 females and approximately one in 15 males reported physical abuse. One in nine females and also one in 36 males in high school reported sexual dating violence. There are signs of abusive nature that often go ignored, like a person being very controlling over your eating and sleeping habits or attacking your self-work and insecurities that they know you have. Abuse can result in unhealthy actions, such as return, such as turning to drugs, alcohol, or even taking one's life. And students in high school might deal with vic victimization, possibly for a lifetime. If you're dealing with any of these situations, physical, mental, or sexual abuse in a relationship, you should seek help. Call hotlines 1-866-331-9474 or call 1-800-799-7233. But that's all for today's Hot Topic discussion. Now here is Cheyenne with your Bather Sports Update. Thanks, Cheyenne. Now it's time for the Bather's Do Better Word of the Day. Today's word is innervate, which is to weaken or destroy the fabric or structure of something. Stay in touch with everything in Mount Clemens, like the district Facebook page, Mount Clemens Battling Bathers. Follow us on Instagram at Bather Babble. Follow Mr. Duncan on Twitter at MC underscore ADMN. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at BabCDB. You will get notifications when we go live each day. Teachers, please email your announcements to bathervabble at gmail.com to have your announcements read on the show. That's a wrap. We'll see you tomorrow, bathers.